Before we begin today's video, I have an important announcement to make. Me and my team have curated 50 plus best SOPs to study at top universities in US, UK, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, Australia and more. All you have to do is go to the pinned comments or the description box for the link to download them and it's totally free of cost. So go check it out. Now let's begin today's video. Hey guys, my name is Saket and today let us talk about studying in Italy. Education system, intakes, courses, universities, entry requirements and visas and everything else you will need to know to study in the country. Let us dive straight in. Let us begin with the basics, that is language of instruction, degree duration and intakes. So before you plan to study in Italy, there is one thing you should know, that is language of instruction. Italian is a major language in Italy, but courses can be delivered in Italian, English or a combination of Italian or English. So do check the language of instruction of the course you wish to study beforehand. Both bachelor and master's degrees can be offered either in Italian or English or sometimes both. It will vary from university to university, so do check university website you wish to study at. Bachelors are usually 3-4 to four years in duration and masters is 2 years. Talking about intakes, there are largely two intakes in Italy. The fall intake starts in September and the winter intake starts in February. Ideally, for September intake, you should apply by May and for February intake, apply by November. I will recommend to start the prep at least a year in advance so that you have all the documents handy when you start applying. Now, let's get to universities and courses. Italy largely has two types of institutions, public and private. Some well-known public universities in Italy include Politecnico di Milano, University of Bologna, Sapienza University of Rome, University of Padua, University of Milan, University of Pisa, University of Naples, University of Trento, University of Florence, University of Turin, and University of Pavia. Some universities in private sector include Bocconi University, UCSC Luis Guido Carli, Liberal University di Bolzano, Uni SG, and Carlo Cotanio University. Politecnico di Milano, Sapienza University of Rome and University of Bologna are ranked amongst top 200 globally by QS. There are some well-known B schools in Italy as well, such as SDA Bocconi School of Management, Bologna Business School and MIB Tri-State School of Management. Talking about courses, there's everything to anything available, so you can be rest assured of that. So once you have your courses and university shortlisted, let us talk about entry requirements and documents required to apply. For bachelors, a minimum of 65% is recommended in your 12th grade plus an IELTS score of 5.5 to 6. If the course is in Italian, PLEDA, TELC, CELI or SILS test will be needed. Universities will also require your mark sheets, statement of purpose, LORs and in some cases, SAT or ACT results will also be required. For masters, 60% is recommended with an IELTS score of 6 to 6.5. GMAT or GRE will be required for certain programs like the MBA and documentation largely remains the same. Do note that IELTS requirements may be higher for some universities and some may take interviews as part of the admissions process. Largely speaking, there is no single criteria that fits all universities, so it is advisable to check program at university websites. Now over to course and let's start with the tuition fee. Tuition fee will drastically vary between public and private universities. For instance, private universities can cost anywhere between 8,000 to 20,000 euros per annum, that is roughly around 7 to 18 lakh rupees, whereas public ones can be super affordable, ranging between as less as 1,000 to 4,000 euros a year, which is 90,000 to 3.5 lakhs. There are many scholarships available for international students, including Indians, which makes studying in Italy approximately 60 to 70 percent cheaper than most other Western countries. If you want a video on scholarships in Italy, let me know in the comments. Now over to living costs. So on an average, students spend anywhere between 1000 to 1300 euros a month for living expenses, which is roughly 12,000 euros per year, which is 10 lakhs in Indian currency. While 12,000 euros will be a good amount to set aside for your living expenses, but do note that this value may go up depending on your lifestyle. Also, if you choose to study in cities like Rome or Milan, I will advise setting aside a budget of 15,000 euros a year or 13.5 lakhs as these cities are a bit expensive. Great, so now let's talk about Italian student visa. You will need visa type D to study in Italy and there are 16 crucial documents required for Italian student visa. Let us understand which ones they are. 1. Application form for the visa fully completed and signed. 2. Two passport size photos on a white background. 3. Original passport with 3 months of validity after the intended stay and 2 blank pages. 4. Two sets of photocopies of passport. 5. Declaration of value certificate. This document is largely like the APS in Germany that recognizes your Indian qualification. 
This can be obtained from the Italian embassy by filling up a form and dropping the links to it in the description box. So do check it out. If you want me to make a separate video on this and a step-by-step -step process, let me know in the comments. Do note that some universities may not require this document. 6. Apostilled Education Certificates by Ministry of External Affairs 7. Copy of Acceptance of Enrollment or Offer Letter from Italian University 8. Receipt of Full Tuition Fee 9. Proof of Living This will be 6,080 euros. You can show 6 months bank statement, bank loan or scholarship proof if applicable. 10. Documents providing your source of income such as 3 years ITR. The bank statements and proof of source of income can be of a sponsor as well. 11. Proof of stay for first 30 days. 12. One side air ticket. 13. Medical insurance with 30,000 euros coverage if the university isn't offering you one. 14. Stapled original offer letter with your passport which will be stamped by the embassy when you granted the visa. 15. Cover letter explaining why you're choosing Italy and how do you plan to finance your degree. And 16. Currently there's no visa fee but you will have to pay a service charge of 528 rupees and convenience charge of 176 rupees to VFS via cash, credit or debit card. You will have to book an appointment at Italy VFS application centers located in Ahmedabad, Bengaluru, Chandigarh, Chennai, Goa, Gurugram, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Jalandhar, Kochi, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi, Pondicherry, Pune and Trivandrum. You will also have your biometrics collected and there will be a video conference interview too at the time of submission. So do reach at least 15 minutes prior to your appointment. Apply at least 2-3 to three months before the course start date to avoid any last minute hassles. The checklist and all other details are in the description. Cool, now let's talk about part-time jobs and post-study work options. International students in Italy can work part-time for 20 hours a week, just like most other Western countries. The average wage per hour can range anywhere between 7 to 10 euros per hour, which will be 140 to 200 euros per week. Some jobs may also pay up to 15 euros an hour. Talking about post-study work options, only masters and PhD students get a 12-month stay-back option with possibility to extend the visa after they get the job. Hope this video is super super helpful to plan your move to Italy. The country is surely more affordable and has plenty scholarship options and offers a great mix of history, culture and education excellence. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. See you in the next one.